people that were formerly drunks were introduced to something called sobriety, but it came in stages. One of the things that comes is a commandment to do something called Salah. Salah is your connection with your Lord. This is when you're praying directly to Him, nothing in between you and Him. It's a very beautiful thing, a ritual that's similar to that of the monks who would be in a monastery where they stand for hours like this and don't speak or don't do anything in the same way the Muslims do, only we don't stand for hours, just a few minutes, but we do it every day and there is that moment of silence at each one of those occasions, five times a day. Now, when you want to do this, you are told in the Quran you cannot do it while you're intoxicated. And all of us would like to hook up with God. We want to talk to God. We want our prayers heard. And this is the best way to do it. And it's a moment of peace inside of you, but you're not allowed to do it if you're intoxicated. So they had to be sober. So this is the beginning. Sometime later, another verse comes and says, it's totally forbidden to consume the alcohol. But by now, many of them had gotten away from this idea of drinking all the time. But after all, you've got to pray five times a day. How do you have time to get drunk in between and sober back up? That's a lot of coffee. <laughs> Actually, they didn't have coffee yet. It came 300 years later, so they were still waiting for Starbucks to open. You guys laugh at anything. <laughs> but anyhow.